Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah Ashadu an la Alhamdulillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh wa na'udzu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyiati a'malina man yahdihillahu fala mudilla lahu wa man yudlil fala hadiya lahu ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna muhammadan 'abduhu wa rasuluhu la nabiyya ba'dahu allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in fa inna asdaqal hadithi kitabullah wa khara al-hadi hadi Muhammadin sallallahu alaihi wa sallam wa sharu al-umuri muhdathatuha wa kulla muhdathatin bid'ah wa kulla bid'atin dalalah wa kulla dalalatin fil nar amma ba'd Verily, all the praise and thanks be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has not begotten a son and who has no partner in his dominion I bear witness that there is no true God worthy of worship except Allah alone without any association and I bear witness that our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and messenger. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends blessings and peace to him and his family, his companions. And also to all of us as his loyal follower, Allahumma amin. My dear respected brothers and sisters, rahimani wa rahimakumullah. In many occasions in our khutbah, in our discussion that we discuss about the importance of making istighfar and tawbah, repentance. As a law for forgiveness and make repentance. Every single day in our life, we should encourage ourselves 
to make a self-contemplation, to make a sincere repentance toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And related to this, it is also very important for us to understand the conditions, the requirements of an acceptable tawbah or repentance. Absolutely, yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most forgiving and the most merciful. We know that from the hadith that our beloved Prophet sallallahu said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Yabna Adam, innaka law ataytani bi qurabil ard khataya, thumma laqeetani la tushriku bi shay'an, la ataytuka bi qurabiha maghfira. O children of Adam, O Bani Adam, Yabna Adam, if you come to me, we come to Allah for what? For forgiveness, to make repentance. With the full earth of sins, could you imagine? We come to Allah with the full earth of sins. We make every kind of sins, now the villa. While you do not associate me, La tushriku bi and you do not make association, and you do not make shirk to me with anything at all, surely, I will come to you with the full earth of forgiveness. With the full earth of forgiveness. We have a full earth of sins, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come to us with the full earth of forgiveness. From this hadith, we can identify the condition is if we don't make any kind of shirk toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna Allah ghafoorur rahim. Allah is the most forgiving and the most merciful. But we should really recognize and understand that which repentance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be pleased to accept it. Will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept the fake repentance? Will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept the repentance without any sincerity? My dear respected brothers, Rahimani wa rahimakumullah. Actually, in our life, in the world, we are all have made sins and will always make sins. Every time, every single day, as a nature of our creation as a human being, we will always make mistake. That's in line with the hadith from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All of son of Adams, all of us, you and me, the ulama, the scholars, even the alim, alul ibadah, the people who make a massive ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are all sinners. But the best among the sinners are who always make repentance. Of course, this is sincere repentance. This is fundamental things and reason that why we have to perform regular, frequent, and massive istighfar and repentance, tawbah. Since as a human being, we cannot be free from any mistakes. That's also why our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu encouraged us to perform daily istighfar and tawbah at least 100 times a day. We know our own sins. We know our own mistakes. If 100 times a day is not enough, we need to add some more. We need to make our time with dhikr, with istighfar. Astaghfirullah wa you know, if something, for example, the, the our cloth is full with, uh, you know, it's dirty, and then we know the labor of the dirty, it's probably is not enough to wash it in one time. It's the same with our heart. It's the same with our, you know, um, our condition. If we know that we we have a lot of, uh, we are committing with sins, a lot of uh, sins and mistakes, we need to make a regular, massive abundance of istighfar. My respected brothers and sisters, Rahimani wa Rahimahumullah. So then when we make our istighfar and repentance, we should perform the best istighfar and tawbah. 
so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would be pleased to forgive us. The best is the fun. So then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be happy to accept our repentance. And then the best of istighfar and tawbah in the Quran, it is mentioned as the tawbatan nasuha. Ya ayuhal ladina amanu, tubu ila Allahi tawbatan nasuha. Asa rabbukum ayu kafiru ankum sayyatikum. O you who have believed, the tawbatan nasuha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala call the people who has uh, iman. Make repentance. Repent to Allah with sincere repentance. Tawbatan nasuha. Perhaps your Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will remove from you your misdeed, your mistake, your sins. It is clear that tawbatan nasuha is a sincere repentance, ikhlas, containing a seriousness, a great willingness, really, really big motivation to return to Allah sincerely. From the bottom of the heart. For the sake of Allah. Not a fake one. Not a fake uh, repentance. Allah knows everything in our heart. So that's why people who make istighfar and tawbah. But not from their heart. For example they make mistake and then they make istighfar. But not really serious. They could be easily to return to their misdeeds. They do it again in the future. Easily. Because what they did is not the sincere repentance. The return to not doing salah again. Na'udhu billah. The return to do ma'asiyah again. Subhanallah. My dear brothers, rahimani wa rahimakumullah. When we perform the tawbat al-nasuha, we should really realize and recognize what we did is bad deeds. Tawbat al-nasuha, the very first is ikhlas. We do it for the sake of Allah. We want to return to Allah. And then after that, when we have this sincerity, we need to recognize and realize what we did is a mistake. If we don't recognize something, an action is not a mistake, how could we have a great motivation to make a repentance? So that's why the Ahlul Bid'ah, for example, the people uh, who make innovation in the deen, it's difficult for them to make uh, istighfar and tawbah for what they are doing because they thought they don't recognize what they did is a mistake, what they did is a maqsiyah, what they did is disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we don't recognize that the action that we did is a misdeed, a mistake, a sin, it could not lead us to the sincere repentance. We don't recognize it. So we have to recognize and realize, I leave the salah. I know this mistake. We realize this mistake. This is an important provision for the uh, sincere repentance, Tawbat and Nasuha. Then once we realize and recognize this is the mistake, what we need to do is we have to be so much regretful. What's the point we realize it and then we don't feel sorry? What's the point then? We know that's a mistake. We don't have a regretful things. We still feel happy with that. Na'udhu Billah. We should feel so much sad with the mistake that we do. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, subhanallah, would not be pleased to us with that mistake. So we feel so guilty with that mistake. We realize this as a mistake. And then we should be so much regretful with the mistake that we we have done and then after that my dear brothers and sisters if we feel so sorry if we feel so guilty in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and naturally we could be fall in tears we will cry in our salah in our dhikr in our istighfar in our sujood this is the sign of the sincere repentance. If we really, really want to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And afterwards, once we are so much regretful, then there should be a great motivation from all of us, from the sinner, to have a commitment to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we will not do the mistake again in the future. 
we should have a strong promise toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be a better Muslim who always have a great motivation to perform the good deeds, the amal and salah. Barakallahu fi Barakallahu li wa lakum fi al-Qur'an al-Azim wa naf'ani wa iyyakum bima fihi min al-ayati wa dhikr al-Hakim aqul qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah innahu huwal ghafur ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله لا نبي بعده اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين my respected dear brothers and sisters أعزني الله وإياكم جميعا Allah is the most forgiving and the most merciful we should really understand that very well so once we make mistake, when we commit, committed with sin, once we perform disobedience with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever the mistake, and then this related to the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the way to ask forgiveness is just straight away toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, directly toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala surely will be pleased to forgive us, to accept our repentance. If we consider the conditions of Tawbat al nasuha Since a repentance, we recognize the mistake, we feel so much regretful, and then we have a strong commitment not to do and not to repeat the sins in the future. Have a great motivation to be a better Muslim. Inshallah, with this provision, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be happy to accept our uh, repentance. But however, if the mistake related to the human, to the right of the human, Related to the people, the conditions of an acceptable repentance will be related to the person that we do mistake to them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not accept our repentance, our tawbah, our istighfar until the person that we do volume to him, we insult him, we humiliate him, we do injustice to him, we take his right from him, we do backbiting to them. We do riba to them. Na'udhu billah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not be pleased to accept our repentance until they, all those people, forgive us. This is the hard things. If we deal with the rights of humans, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive us until they forgive us. Nowadays, we know this is the disease in our community, the backbiting. We do so much backbiting. We need to understand how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept our tawbah regarding these sins. I realize that, you know, there is a Muslim here. They have stuff. They have a business, for example. It's very sad to understand and, and to realize that I knew that the brother doesn't pay the haq of the, his staff, the salary, for one month. This is volume. Even though we are Muslims, sometimes we make it easy, oh, we are brothers and sisters. No. That's why Islam have a rule, haqqul muslim ala muslim. We cannot take it easy, my dear brothers and sisters. If the brothers, the sisters, that we do injustice to them, we do volume to them, and then they are not pleased to us, they will bring this matter to the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the day of judgment. What we can do. So if we still have time, if we have a problem with uh, the brothers and sisters here in the world, try to get their sympathy, try to get their forgiveness. How? We need to think about that. It's hard. Some people probably, is so much difficult for them to give a forgiveness because we do volume to them. We need to find a way Probably we need to give them a gift, present. Sometimes probably we need to give them money to make them happy. So they will be pleased. We need to give kafara to them. So that's why in Islam is very important. When we talk to the brothers and sisters, do nice. Don't do wrong thing to them. 
we interact with people with good manner. Madi brothers and sisters, in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then, when they bring this and they are not pleased to give us forgiveness, in the, subhanallah, in the day of judgment, is a very heavy day for all of us. We have less amal. We need our amal to save us, to go to Jannah, while we have this problem. And then, we should be pleased to give our amal, our reward, to these brothers and sisters that we do volume to them in the world. Even worse, when we don't have any single amal anymore, they give their sins to us to be our responsibility. Na'awadhu billah. Allahumma ghfir lil muslimin wal muslimat wal mu'minin wal mu'minat al ahya'i minhum wal amwat innaka sami'un qareebun mujibud da'wat ya qadi al hajat Allahumma ghfir lil muslimin wal muslimat wal mu'minin wal mu'minat al ahya'i minhum wal amwat birahmatika ya arhamar rahimin إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد اللهم إنا نسألك سلامة في الدين وعافية في الجسد وزيادة في العلم وبركة في الرزق وتوبة قبل الموت ورحمة عند الموت ومغفرة بعد الموت اللهم اختم آجلنا وأعمالنا بحسن الخاتمة ولا تختم آجلنا وأعمالنا بسوء الخاتمة وأخرجنا من الدنيا بقول لا إله إلا الله ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وإن عذبنا حقين صلى الله الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاة قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله استو أقيم صفوف الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين والتين والزيتون وطور سينين وهذا البلد الأمين لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تقويم ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنون فما يكذبك بعد بالدين أليس الله بأحكم الحاكمين الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم 
مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين ألهاكم التكاثر حتى زرتم المقابر كلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين لترون الجحيم ثم لترونها عين اليقين ثم لتسألن يومئذ عن النعيم الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمد الله أكبر الله أكبر Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله